you are going to be a legend. You said it for a long time. Yes, it took a long time. But it's true. Yeah, but I know that, you know, I know the, the main question everybody wants to know. And everybody wants to actually, you know, everybody always asks me about the Pacquiao fight. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I never. Who's Pacquiao? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's sorry. It's not that. It's not, I'm not saying that I never wanted the fight to happen. Only thing I wanted the fight to do is just be on an even playing field. And um, since I'm the face of boxing, of course, we want to, we want to be on an even, like I said, an even playing field. Uh, random blood in your intestine. And no different from, you know, Lance Armstrong just went through the same thing. Once USADA got involved then you know. All right, so here's the question. Don't you find it interesting that, and I, I think some of it's because of your personality and the fact that you like playing the bad guy, but how did you become the bad guy when you wanted <laughs> drug testing? It, it is a very <laughs> ironic situation. Well, people have to realize um, I don't have any hate towards Manny Pacquiao, you know. You respect him, right? Uh, yeah, I respect him, but I'm just saying it's like um, it's not a crime. I, I'm I'm also saying that I'm gonna do random blood in your intestine, you know, just so I can be in a clean sport. That's all I'm asking. But what about the split? Because everyone always there's always debate about what really the split. Well, we was. don't do we actually we don't do the same type of numbers. So how can we split it? Maybe we, like draw in the same type of money. Yes, we don't draw the same. So why don't you money. man up and just say winner gets more? Because you know you're gonna win. So why it's, it's, why not just go? I'm get seventy thirty well, for the winner. For, first, for starters, we got to get past the random blood in your intestine. <laughs> why don't you just first shoot up steroids and then y'all be even? No. Or whatever drug he's you he you think he's taking, no, I, take the same drug and get in the ring. No, I don't feel you have to cheat. You know you have, you know I don't believe in cheating. I believe in doing the honest way. So is there a chance that if he was to agree to the blood in your intestine, which it doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen. Well, well, it's not even that. You know, um, he has a, um, you know, he's with Bob M. He's with a whole other company. And, you know, I have made one of the promotions. You know, I have my own company. But you and Aaron will be willing. You guys both want money. You and Aaron and will be willing. It's kind of hard. I mean, Aaron wants money. But the thing is about putting the fighters in, the, in a good position. It's about Pacquiao. And, and Mayweather, it's about putting both fighters in a good position. Of course, I'm going to put myself in a good position. Whose idea was it for 50 to get his uh, boxing license here in New York? Was that something that you guys talked about? Or? Uh, I mean, of course. I mean, um, 50 is, um, like I said before, everything that he touched turns to gold. And um, we got the Money Team promotions, and we also got Mayweather promotions. We got, um, it's all one family. So um, we stick together, and we're going to continue to work hard. I've been taking a little boxing in the gym lately. So really, fifties ready to holla. At, you know, Puerto well, listen, Ricans in the ring. If you lose a hundred, classic. If you lose hundred and forty pounds, you would look like one of those. Why can't I be Puerto heavyweight? Ricans. There are not many great Puerto Rican heavyweights. John Ruiz. Why don't they do ultra impressive. heavyweight? Ultra heavyweight. What's the new? Why don't we do that? Could you? Are you guys looking for an ultra heavyweight? What's his weight? What is he, your weight now? Uh, I'm between two twenty, two thirty. I'm having issues, man. More like two thirty. Uh, height. What's his height? Six. Six what? Like, <laughs> six bagels. The fuck you mean? Yeah, Mike Tyson was like Mike Tyson was like two nineteen. Like yeah, two twenty. Five eleven, six feet. What's heavyweight? What's heavy? What's what's the number? The over, over one hundred ninety five pounds or so. You're gonna. I'm 200, good. Two hundred or better. Two hundred officially. Two hundred or better. Yes, is that? I got that. You can do. Oh, you can definitely get over the weight. I'm not worried about you making heavyweight. You're gonna make what weight. Mean, you don't man. have to do super heavyweight. You don't have to fight Butterbean. We can get you into a real heavyweight match. <laughs> we can make that happen. Um. So, uh, okay, the, the Pacquiao situation is what it is. Wait, hold on, real quick. I just want to ask about that. W so, why won't he do the the drug or urine test? Well, you know, I, you know, um, I can't really say why he won't, he won't do the random blood and urine test, and I can't really say why he won't do it. Um, every other fighter that that I face, you know, that I've been facing, um, it? I tell them they have to, of course, and I have to do it too. You, they can just come anytime just to test you. And um, at this particular time, I don't know if he want to do it or not. But did, but what would he say? Did he say it was something religious or wasn't it something? What he said? There was a whole bunch of weird reasons. It was just different that. things from oh. the past, you know, that was said. I don't know exactly, oh. word for word. But that was in the past, and the only thing I could continue to do is, um, if I do fight again, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. Yeah, because it's a bummer. If if the fight was somehow ever to happen now, I've always said that it's gotten to the point that. It would be a little bit like Lewis Tyson. Like just, it, it, it's it's if it happens now to me, it's going to be too late. Yes. You know that fight was would have been amazing two years ago. Now everyone's getting older. I think he's aging at a faster rate than you are. Um, Why but, did I'm, he... but I'm older than I'm, I'm older than he is. Yeah, no, I know. But he does. But in, in Manny's defense, Manny does a lot of stuff. Manny has Manny also. It's, boxing is almost. I think at this point, boxing kind of secondary to Manny almost in a different way than you are. I think you're a little bit more of a pure. 
you know, I think that's one of the things that makes you a special athlete. Well, you know, um, I just dedicated myself to my craft. I've been in boxing for now, um, well, professional. I've been professional 16 years and been world champion for 15 years. And I just dedicated myself Dang. to my craft. Do you, um, well, first of all, real quick, how hard, people talk about hard work, and the thing is, even there are times, and I go through ups and downs with Floyd. I love Floyd, because if you're a boxing fan, you have to love Floyd. But I hate Floyd at times, because he can be an asshole. That's well, part, he's that's part, right here, man. No, that's part of his character, but <laughs> I've but, always respected your work. And, I, and I've and i always- is this, The thing is, this, it's about having personality. You know, you gotta, have some, you gotta be outspoken to have personality. And you enjoy being a heel. You enjoy being the bad guy. It's not really the bad guy, I enjoy entertaining. That's what it's about, you know, giving the fans excitement and entertainment. You know, you, some pay to see me win, some pay to see me lose, but they all pay. We all, a lot of the, a lot of people I know who are wrestling fans, who are wrestling fans and boxing fans, all thought that after your last fight, you turned into a baby face and wrestling, you know, you turned into a good guy. Because when the fight ended, you were so respectful of Kodo, because I know you respect him, and then the apology to Larry Merchant. It did feel like all of a sudden you became a good guy. A good guy. I said that. I said I said it was brilliant. I, I thought it was the right time I, for it. I just think, I mean, if I just feel that was the right thing to do. Did you feel bad about what happened with Larry Merchant? Oh, I didn't feel bad at all. I just felt like that was the right thing to do. So you didn't think you were in the <laughs> wrong for the way you went at Larry. You thought he deserved I it. Can't, for... I don't really know. I can't really say if I was, it was right or, or it was wrong, but at that particular time, I felt like saying what I said, so that's why I apologize. I was highly entertained when that happened. The, uh, you know, First out. That, that, what, what about this? Do you have any regrets about how that fight ended? Uh, no, not at all. The quick, the quick okey-doke knockout off the, off the break? Uh, no, because once, the, once the, um, they tell you from the beginning, protect yourself at all times. And excuse me, um, certain things happen in the sport of boxing. Only thing we can do is just um, do um, do what we do. I, I I didn't think that you were in the wrong for doing it. I just felt disappointed. I just felt like not disappointed in you as a person. I just wanted more from the fight. I just wanted to see. You know, when when well, uh, when know, the consumer pays fifty bucks, I was in a hotel, so I, I think I paid sixty five. So I you know, apologize. you said it's it's quite all right. Aww. I you know what? Aww. I'm gonna end it right there. I Thank you, Bab Floyd. I mean, I know you got 65 in your pocket, so if you just want to hit me yeah, off. They said it was 50, precedent. now it's 65. I was in the hotel. You know, they pay, <laughs> they charge more in the hotel. Definitely not going to start that precedent <laughs> of handing Floyd money back. Floyd will give people $65. <laughs> Floyd, you came here with a very humble spirit, a very humble attitude, and I know that you've been through some things recently. Yes, yes. Like um, going to jail and being yes. incarcerated. Would uh. you say that that's changed you? Um, It's just more like, you know, with my situation. I just say, like, when you... You know, like when you look back at OJ and Nicole, you know, you see a woman that was battered and beat up, you know, from pictures, you know, with Chris Brown and Rihanna. You see <clears throat> pictures of a woman that was beat up. I think with my situation, the first thing they would have they would have done was put photos out there of a battered woman. And that never happened. You know, I think just, you know, I'm outspoken, you know, um, and, you know, I'm very outspoken. So. <clears throat> going into the courtroom already, you know, I think I had a lot of sh strikes against me, so I didn't even want to take that chance. You know, I just feel the system is built for you to take a, take a deal. So the best thing for me to do is um, do what I did, and I took a plea bargain. So what was that experience like, going in jail, going through? Oh, I was locked know. up. I was locked up in, um, you know, I was in a hole, actually. Like I said, administration of segregation, but I was in a hole, actually. Why? Huh? Because it's a celebrity. Yeah, they had, I done my whole time in a whole um by or, yourself, straight up. Yes. Nobody else around you no, ever. You don't have no contact with no other inmates. You're locked no TV, no nothing. You locked up um 70, I mean you locked up 23 hours a day hmm. on on week on weekdays, on weekends. You don't come out at all until Monday. So what did you what? do? What were you doing? Did you have a book? Did, were well, you I had lost I had lost weight at first. I had lost a lot of weight. And I was uh, dehydrated, and I was surviving off commissary, basically peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, um, candy bars, yeah. potato chips. So if you should go to that solitary. sounds like your yeah. diet. Yeah. So um, how do I, yeah, how do I get into? I was this? surviving off, you know, of course. I mean, I was surviving off commissary. I didn't eat the food um, at all, you know, while I was locked up. Why? So I just didn't. You didn't like it, or you didn't I, trust it? I just didn't trust it. I, I didn't like it, and I didn't trust it. You mean the food that they? Well, how did did you eat in your cell? I, I eat commissary. Only. Would, I survived but, off commissary. So when you say that though, with commissary, do you actually go someplace to get it, or they you just tell no. them what, they, what you no, want? No, you, you fill out a list, and they'll bring you a sandwich, a PB, a peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, well, you got a certain. It's a certain amount of 
Of course, you you fill it out, but it's only a certain amount of things you can get. Off so the this, but it's like sealed. Did so any of the right. guards try to test you or resent you for anything? You know, I'm sure there's some like some sort of jealousy, and jealousy and resentment. Well, I mean, and of course, you're gonna have you know good and bad in every situation. You know, my, my main thing is just, I just read the fans' letters. You know, because you know, I got to be thankful for the fans. I got like I, I, I'm just gonna say a number. I don't know the exact number. Probably between. Two hundred and three hundred thousand letters. Jeez, wow. what? Yeah. So you about know, the time that you were in prison. Yes. So wow. I was, you know, I was re- doing a lot of reading from the fans and just reading different books, diff- different books, different magazines. And did you have straight th- stunting in there? You have uh, no. You can't get that. It won't let you have straight <laughs> stunting magazine. No. That's, That's a, a shame. What kind of jail is this? <laughs> That's no. the core audience. No straight stunting in um, jail. Did you? We like to have music. No, no music, no nothing. No music. I was, I was doing them. I started doing. I was going through the deck of cards. I was. I started doing, four hundred and thirty-six push-ups a day. Then I went from four thirty-six to eight seventy-two. Then I went to thirteen oh eight. So I was doing thirteen hundred, like thirteen hundred push-ups a day. How many push-ups can you do in one, one round? Well, the most I ever done was probably, uh, one. When I got out, I done one forty-one. But I just regular, it's a hundred. A regular is a hundred. Yes. But one forty-one is the limit. Wow. That's, 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 that's what I've done at straight 140. You know what? That, that makes me not feel so bad that I've hit 50 before. I feel like one-third to Floyd is not bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he myself. probably has a different frame. Mm, I don't think I don't, I don't right. think so. I think we're actually built quite similarly. <laughs> what about crunches? How many crunches were you doing today? I really couldn't. Do, you know, the room was so small. It was that small that you couldn't do a good crunch? Well, you, can, well, it's, you couldn't really do crunches. Yo, fam, do you realize how mentally yeah. healthy you have to be to yes. come out the way Floyd is and how much you have yeah. to love yourself? How did you even sleep if you can't even do a crunch? Like, I mean, it just, I mean, I had the food on the floor. I had my food sitting on the floor, and it's just, it was a wild experience, but I took the good with the good, took the that bad with the That was the first time you ever went to jail? Yes. I mean, I've not, I mean, of course, you know, I've been before, like. It, locked up overnight or something. Yes. I mean, not really locked up overnight, but, you know, for the, for the, you know, for the situation, for the case, they had locked me up for like 12 hours oh, yeah. or something. But I'd never been in a hole before. How much did you love that mansion when you got out? <laughs> I'm just, I'm blessed just to be in a, this position. I was, I, it, it really wasn't, it really wasn't the mansion. You know, my freedom was more important than anything. I think sometimes we, when we out here in the, we out here in the world, you know, I think the, the American mentality is, you know, I want to be rich. But once your freedom is gone, you don't care nothing about money. You just want your freedom. You just want to see a tree, you know, walk through a park. You know, that's very important to you. Aww. Yeah, this sensitive. Oh, Where's, my can God. Can we go 20, 24-7 Floyd turn yeah. on? Yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Button, turn man. it on. <laughs> Keep it. talking to a money phone or. <laughs> that's entertainment. That's when it's, it's lights, camera, action. Hey, you And you do make the most of 24-7. Yo, I don't, I'm not a huge boxing fan. Like, he's obviously a, a way bigger boxing fan. But I fucks with twenty four seven, yo. That show, that's a show that's is a, that's a show amazing. that I created. That you really, wait, you were part of the, you created the show. I created twenty four seven. Really? Yes. I always thought you said that as like you know ish talk. Like I I created this. I didn't realize you were really like. Uh, are you are you like a, do you have a producer credit on the show or a creator credit? Well, I don't. I'm, I mean, of course, everything that I've done is behind the scenes. I don't have to just say I'll put my name out there. Do you get money though when it's not yours? I'm comfortable. Let's put it like that. I'm HBO comfortable. takes care of you. I'm comfortable. <laughs> Would you ever? That show's great, man. Yeah, that show's I'm great. Com- I'm very comfortable. Music, the music they play on there, the, the, the dude that does the voiceovers. <sighs> that actor. What's the name of the dude that does the voiceovers again? If I'm not mistaken, he's the guy from... Um, he's in X-Men. X-Men. Yeah, 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 X-Men. He's the guy from X-Men. Liam, not, is it Liam? Is it Liam Neeson? No. Not Liam Neeson. Neeson. I'll take it. He's from X-Men. Um, Ch- Joe, you should train him. Do you watch, uh, do you watch the Hard Knocks uh, on HBO as well? Um, that's the football. Yeah, I had a chance to see it a, a couple of times when I got when I got home. Are you are you are you a fan of other sports? Football, football and basketball, of course. I bet you know I bet heavy. Oh, you do bet heavy. So. Give people. We're getting into the football season. I'll, I'll enjoy betting myself. Mm-hmm. I, I may not bet as much as you do. I like a two dollar parlay. Schreiber. <laughs> right, leave Schreiber exactly. Do you uh, what? What is some betting advice you give? Because a lot of people go to Vegas for that bachelor party weekend, and they do not bet smart. Well, How I, do you bet smart? I, I I believe in I cannot bet you know two hundred thousand on a parlay. I really excuse take, me. What is parlay, a parlay? Is when you take multiple bets and bet them together. If both hit, you win more money. But if one misses, you lose everything. Got it. 